hello. Um, I, 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 I hope everyone's been having a good week, because, uh, I've been having a good week, but, like, certain things have happened, um, since the last stream. Uh, first of all, uh, the headset that I've been using since before I ever debuted on Twitch, uh, has a fine has finally gone down, uh, I no longer am using that headset because it is now officially basically garbage. Um, luckily, I kept my old headset, so if anything sounds different when I go to play a game or something, uh, that might be why. But thank goodness I was able to uh, keep the old headset, and it still comes with like a lot of the same settings, it's just not the same brand or anything. So, you know, there's that. Um... There was a different plan for, you know, for tonight's stream. Um, because originally I was going to stream Minecraft, but stuff had come up that I need to take care of before I can stream Minecraft again, and I'm going to be taking care of that, you know, for, for future streams. So, um, no, no Minecraft this week, but we are playing Power Wash Simulator this week. So there is that. You know, when, when, when one option doesn't quite work, good thing there's another option. Um... But yeah, plans had to be changed around, um, so, you know, here we are, with Power Rush Simulator. Probably just Miser and I again, but, you know, we'll have, we'll have everybody else in chat as per the usual with these kind of streams, so, um, yeah, there is that as well. Um, so yeah been having a pretty good week it's been rather warm for you know this time of year but it's gonna be cooling back down again which you know I'm just thrilled about so um, yeah we, we, we got we got over 50 degrees I think we reached like 60 degrees yesterday where I'm at which was kind of nice but like I don't know. It's never usually that warm here this time of year. So, like, you know, it is what it is. So let's get to the game. Uh, then I can unmute everybody and unmute the game because I think he's already started. And I had to mute because the power wash was really loud. Also, hi, welcome in Hellfire. <laughs> Taking taking a break from hunting monsters this week. We're gonna power wash some stuff and you know just have a good time. Well hey good, I appreciate you hanging out either way. Um, let's get to the game. Okay. I'm gonna put me here. Okay. Yeah, I gotta shrink them down just a tad. There we go. There's that. Okay, cool. Uh, first of all, let's unmute the game. So that way, uh, yeah, that's working. And we'll unmute everybody else. Say, say hi. Uh, ah. I have literally zero problems fighting and right on right on screw you sage did you use any spirits i use majora's mask but okay. there's one that grants you invincibility against the floor being off of or electricity well the reason i use majora's mask as a spirit is because it grants healing yeah, upon I mean, dealing I'm damage using right now to drop, I guess. Yeah, I need to, I need to, uh... 
Well, again, yeah, I have not played time. Smash Bros. in a long time, so, like, you guys might be more capable. I was just warning you guys before that Therapagos was a nightmare. But yeah, I had to mute the game when I was prepping upstream because the moment Miser hopped in and started using a power washer, I had to, like, mute that so it wasn't blasting my ears while I was trying to talk to chat. So that's what that peeing sound was. Do I have any that do uh, well, yeah, electric, okay. that, boogie, boogie, boogie. that nullify electric for? You are my dad. You're my dad. Boogie, boogie, like, boogie, boogie. I don't collect spirits that much. Like, I don't, I, I was like, eh, they're cool. I, I liked the trophies that had, like, the information. I miss the trophies. I sure I wouldn't mind the stickers as much. I'd love to get like little snippets of information about what who the characters are and where they're from um, with them. That's the thing I miss about the trophies. You could literally just make them stickers and and, and yeah, it, I would still miss the trophies and the fact that you could view them in three D models. But I like read. I like reading and learning. Remember about. how Melee had a third eye for Princess Daisy. That was like some weird glitch or something, or a really weird error. <clears throat> okay, so hero didn't work against Theropagos. I gotta take another option. Yeah, there. Do you saw what I meant when oh, about Theropagos, right? The auto heal plus life steal, maybe not. I don't have anything with invincibility. If I level up a spirit, can I get it to unlock something? Usually. Only, yeah. I mean, and my Majora's Mask is... Spirit is like level 99. Again, I don't invest in the team spirits. I don't. I, it was never really my. I think they're fine for what they are. I'm not. I'm not going to be one of those competitive players that are like, oh, anything that doesn't add to competitive to Smash is that fuck off. <laughs> also, uh, for 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 chat's information, um. I wanted to prepare a playlist on YouTube for this stream, but kind of slacked off and didn't get even get started on it. Also, there's stuff you can buy in the shop that makes stuff uh, easier to kill. Sage? What? Please stop, you're hurting my fragile ego. What? Well, maybe your fragile ego needs to be hurt. I'm just saying that there's freaking stuff you can buy in the shop that actually, like... Sage, you know I haven't played that game in the hottest minute known to mankind. <laughs> you are also... You, hey, hey, hey. You can use that full information. And that's a... Yeah, that's a good use from get help for information. That's awesome. Information, thank you. Information. Okay. Any, any spirits that have... Uh... Beetle, do you have anything? Well, I I like using the Majora's Mask, like Skull Kid with Majora's Mask Spirit, because it does have life steal on it. Exactly, Justice for Sage. <laughs> Don't be saying that on a Minecraft stream. God will oh. hear you. Beat this fucking turtle! That's what I really want. Yeah, the gold one is the problem. I accept, I accept okay. the consequences of my actions. I beat it with an arrow up the ass, just as God intended. Who are you playing as? Byla. Oh, okay, yeah, that's fair. I played as Ganondorf because Warlock Punch and the Doya. <coughs> yeah, Byla, you get shit done weapon damage, you kill most in one hit. I accept the consequences. Well, I'm, I'm not... Galaxy brain like you guys are, okay? Also, thank you, Shane, for helping me in that fight. Hey, okay, there's no shame either. in I'm that. Just, I just play the game semi, a, a semi competitively, and by semi competitively, I mean I've made it to like round two of the tournament. All right, I'm going in this with the Tetramino oh, block okay. and Fox Luigi, cause fuck it. We gotta confirm that Luigi's a furry. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, I heard... I know it's like a combo of two different characters, but I, I heard that, and I and I was picturing, like, a 
a Fox version of Luigi. What's funny is I, I think know. I think Skull Kid with Majora's Mask doesn't allow me to use secondary spirits. It's either that or I just don't have one set up. Oh no, no, I was talking about Fox Luigi. There's an actual power up. You have that floor immunity. The Snooky Super Mario turns Luigi into a fox. Right, what does it turn Luigi. Peach into? That's uh, Snooky. That's boring. They're gonna still want to jump a lot. See, see, this is why end. Super Mario 3D World hit so hard. They were onto something when they introduced cat powers to the game. I was just saying, is this gonna become another one of those, uh, I'm not a furry butt things? <laughs> <laughs> Literally Markiplier, right, right. Uh, literally Markiplier with his Smasher Pass video. Yeah. Oh, okay. Jigglypuff may not be the, may not, may not be the one. Yeah. No, it's okay. literally I just Markiplier with his Pokemon Smasher Pass video. And I'm sad. Oh, it died. Oh, it went away. Oh well, I'll wait for it. I'm sorry, man. Man exposed himself as a furry. I'll be right back. All right. And I say at this point, who cares? Like, Honestly, good for him. Yeah. All right, let's just send all the new ones I got out on a mission. Wait, like, you can send spirits on missions? Yeah, in order to get stuff. Yeah. Huh. So it's kind of like what they did with a. Uh, Sword and shield with the poke jobs. Only, I'm hoping better. Um, it allows you to get materials and money and stuff. There is. No. Where the fuck? He just so much as makes a sound and. You know what, let's send the devil from Cuphead. Oh Wait, yeah, uh, I forget they have Cuphead spirits. Oh yeah. Uh, Dimitri from Fire Emblem. They also have a Cuphead, uh, Beef, uh, fighter costume. Me also, her. I love that if you, uh, get the Fire Emblem Three Houses Lords level up high enough, they just turn into their post time skip variants. We're also going to send them with the Astral Chain Hero, and who's the next person I can add that would make this even weirder? Uh, Joker. You know what? Tifa, you go with them. Oh god. No, you know what fight I would love to see, even if it ends up being one-sided? Nope. I want to see. You're I, I want to see post time skip Dimitri versus Sephiroth. Seth, he would eat him alive. Yeah, but yeah. it would be funny to watch. Dimitri can't even hurt him. Come on, let a let a wolfie dream. Yeah. Wait, there's only four spirits, right? For the event. Okay, I got them all. I'm sad that I it's couldn't get the freaking young one Neo one. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. Nah, it's all good. So about that airline food. You know. I, I tried eating Southwest Airlines. There's a lot of people in those airlines and they, they taste kind of... It, it gives that kind of bad after tastelessness, if you know what I mean. It's just like with hospital food. I've heard that hospital food is bad. And like the one time I was in the hospital with my busted ankle, I actually enjoyed it. Uh, when I was in the hospital, I did, and that stuff tasted bland. 
I think the hospital you were in had a skill issue. I mean, I was there because I had no white blood cells. Meanwhile, I was just there for a bone break. And then when I told KDZ about it, he decided to make a puberty joke. Of course. Uh... There's always that one, friend. Like, I don't know how your body just starts, stops making white blood cells. Like, that's... I would insane. go into an explanation, but I'd be talking out of my ass. Yeah, that, that'd be scary, too. One good infection and, uh... You're done. Yeah, I'd be dead. He set I mean, me up for it, my... it's not my fault. I mean, I've been eating a little bit more vegetables since then, so... You hear that? KDZ's here to defend himself. Wait, what, wait, what did he say? Oh. He set me up for it, it's not my fault. What do you mean so... Oh, yeah, because I said something was weird and freak... <laughs> you could have literally said anything else than that. Hang on, I got it, I got it. <laughs> You're just giving a shit, bro, it's just... <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is one clean wall right here. Oh, yep. oh KGZ actually tuned into the whole Master Chief versus Mando argument and did go Chief. There's a difference between being raised as a warrior and being bred as a warrior. Yeah. You made it too e Yeah. Sage makes a lot of things too easy. But that's the fun thing. Yeah, like for some reason his dogs keep freaking trying to rip off my glasses. And succeeding. We're freaking messing them up. I don't even know what you look like, and I can't even see you with glasses. Yeah, you don't you don't cross me as someone who wears glasses. Legit. Serious. Huh. Hellfire, I'm back from work, yay. It's nice to I be done with things. I, I mean I don't really wear glasses either. I mean, I wear glasses, but that's because my eyes suck. Yeah, I'm kind of nearsighted. My eyes just suck. No, Ooh, all, the, all the times we be playing Fortnite and Miser will yell at me about how someone was right there, and I'll be like, Dude, you know my vision sucks, right? <laughs> That was mine, I could sleep him from a mile away. I mean, you snipe people with a burst rifle, that's different. I think it's also situational awareness, which, I mean, you guys I have, have seen it. I have very terrible situational and spatial awareness. Oh, man, oh, someone wet his pants, ha ha ha! For some reason, according to science, that's the thing guys excel at, and I cannot be fucked to do my groceries, freaking right. Hidden grocery like, shopping is easy. Well, I'm saying, like, putting them in the bag, that way nothing accidentally gets squished. You have to have some sort Bruh. of spatial awareness to, like... Double bag it, then. You don't care if you double bag it. Yeah, that's literally Unless why the bags so. are there. <sighs> I, gotta, I gotta survive for nine more days. That sounds like a Mr. Beast thing. I survived nine whole days without food. Well, no, I'm just... I mean... I'm surviving on snacks. I'm a fox. I will quite literally scrounge on whatever food I can. I'm a dragon. I'm surviving on your... spike. There we go. <laughs> That's done. Oh, and there's an entire side. I'm a pterodactyl, I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck is planet Earth. The wolf yokai <laughs> over here be like, yeah. 
we go oh, by the um, three we go by the three P's here. Push ups, protein, and pterodactyl. <laughs> Sorry, what? You're literally cutting out for me. You're literally cutting out for me every time. Like, what the fuck? He wasn't cutting out I on mean, my end. Maybe it's something on your end? It, it's it's not what's going on. on. Okay. I'm no longer on my Wi Fi. It was the three P's protein, push ups, <laughs> and pterodactyl. And peanut butter. I genuinely don't think her I would know what that word is, a pterodactyl. There we go, that's a beautiful wall right there. Then there's the crowd who knows what that word is, but then think it begins with a T. I mean, can you blame them? The P is silent. I've been actually kind of guilty of writing it like that, but my my spelling is atrocious. You're accusing me of being set hang on just a second. Wait a minute, I right, wanted that come back there. I'll do it, but apparently I'm silent. What? What? Yeah, the the P is silent because you you you're pterodactyl and they think it's a T. I see how it is. No, I'm just... <sighs> and there's no C in here. Oh, there's wow, there. dude. Wow. I came back from the restroom at an interesting time, haven't I? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, pretty much. I didn't okay. even know you got it. Huh? Gutters. What? Okay. So, so what, what's the debate here? And, 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 and how, how can we solve this? Okay. Let's, let's, be, let's act like adults. Okay, so, uh... What's the button to make it flash again? Run deep in. Phil, there. Did I, did I answer your question? Okay, so there's three doors. Your grand prize is behind one of those three doors. I'm not seeing where the posts are. You pick one of the three doors, the game show host opens the oh, door. Oh, that's that the gutters. And it's not the grand prize. Okay. Do you switch the door, or do you keep the one you currently have? Oh, okay. I'm not good with logic both. puzzles. Usually in video games, I just hit everything until I figure out how to get through. So you brute force door it. that doesn't have that... And so he says the door I picked, uh, a go. door other than I, what I picked... Doesn't have the grand prize, or, or... Yeah, one of the okay. doors. Uh, so, yeah, there's me standing there at the start of the stream. So the door I picked still could have it. Yeah. Yeah, fuck it, I'll go for it. You actually... There is a correct answer, and it is to switch doors. I mean, it's it's still not guaranteed, but it it doubles your odds of winning. Oh. Clean the <laughs> detached house. Um, because yeah. the odds of getting that prize is still... Aura One Smith and three. Jenny Pebbles. You see, yep. a na someone puzzle. named Aura. Nice. This logic puzzle pr uh, uh, plays on a stuff that, uh, on honestly, a bad tendency that I'm trying mm. to correct, which I second guess myself all the fucking time. So it, it, I went. It's like I'm gonna say fuck it and stick with my gut, or not really my gut, but my you know, the same door. Because it's like my internal thing is like I second guess myself too much. It's just a simple logic puzzle. If I fail, oh well. And I mean, it, it pretty much, weird enough as it is, becomes clear once you look at it from a game show host perspective. Because uh, only one out of three times you do get it right. When you pick the door, which means either won the game, because what the game show host does is try to pick 
a door that's not the grand prize and open it first to keep the suspense. But if you put in that one out three times that you do pick it, you know, it's, you didn't pick, you've got, or it's, <laughs> it's either door anyways, but two out of three times you don't pick it, which means it's behind one of the two doors he has to open first. So he opens the one that's not behind me. You know, maybe this is why I suck so much at the D&D puzzle. Yep. It's all coming together. It's a bullshit. <laughs> it's still basically, his mindset is still over. Logic, what's and that? You're a wolfie, you don't understand logic. My logic is howling. You haven't developed that part of your brain yet. But he knows how to woo. I also know how to oo woo. <laughs> you know what I know how to do? I know how to exist. That's one clean garage door. Okay, yeah, my wrist is like you shouldn't be doing this tonight, so I'm not gonna. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm like the door where I shouldn't have been as listened to the inner voice in my head, uh, uh, trying to be nice to myself. I am going to sit <laughs> and go listen, and, uh, and because my wrist is telling me, eh, I'm not feeling that. Right. What I've learned, and one thing I've learned, is competitive smash is actually super hard. Right. Yeah, like, well, you, a lot like... of pro players have to get like, they've had to, they've had to do like either retirement from Purple Tunnel or. They've had to get, like, with surgeries and such. So I was, like, trying... Yeah, because that's really hard on your wrists. And especially melee with how many precise, not ultra precise movements you've got to do. Like, it can be hell on your wrist. So, uh, I just... I wonder if I can buy us some new stuff. So I just... Mm -mm. It doesn't mean I don't want to play competitive Smash. It just means... Somebody who's already developing the beginning stages of Purple Tunnel, unfortunately. Um, um, I, I want to be careful. I want do to we take want the care of my Do we want the Urban XU2 short extension? Buy all of them. To just buy all that I can, that I'm able to buy. Yes. Okay. Unfortunately, Purple Tunnel will eventually get to me because, uh, well, I work to help that, yeah. I work at some... Uh, I work okay, with that's computers for a little bit for the equipment. Yeah. So, oh, I'm sure... That's already, yeah. Uh... And the best I can do is to try to take care it does, of... Doesn't, it doesn't bother me as much anymore, but it still bothers me. Like, it doesn't bother me really all that much at all. <clears throat> I just occasionally get wrist stakes. Especially when I've trained it too much. <laughs> and Smash is really, especially competitively, is really straining on you, can, especially your right wrist. I can buy styling for yeah. power washers. I yeah. I, at the end of the day, I think that's... that's, that's one, though. I, think that's one I mean, there's one that's $50. Push. That's not all that bad. That's pretty cool. It doesn't affect this one, though. Yeah. It only affects the, uh, the last rank one. I guess that's also one of the reasons I switched from the GameCube controller, because the GameCube controller is so small, it just exacerbates the issue. Yeah, I just prefer the Pro controller. It's a lot more comfortable for me. Yeah, I may switch back to the Pro. I wanted to give the GameCube controller a, a try for a couple of days, Ace, just to see how I felt about it again. Like, it feels good, but I just... The Pro controller feels really solid. I, maybe I'll have to get a, a custom Pro controller with, like, a notch. With less not see, now, uh, now I can do this from over here. Because the reason a lot of competitive players like the GameCube controller is because, you know, how, like, the kind of trade that the, the uh, joystick is in, and you say your Pro Controller is circular. Well, on the GameCube controller, you know, the sort of hexagon. That actually helps with positioning. That gives you a consistent point that you can aim at with feel. To get you know, to be able to pull different angles and moves off consistently, so I wonder if maybe there's a either a custom controller or a mod where I could get something like that on a larger controller 
not necessarily literally a full GameCube controller. Because I'm as much as I like the look of the GameCube controller, the feel of it just gets too crazy. You know what would oh be really God. funny? VR controlled Smash Bros. <laughs> Control it with your body movements. You're just flailing around like a mad banshee, trying to KO like, some guy. I, okay, I've played in VR before. I I will tell you one thing, and and what you're proposing would require quite a, a quite expensive equipment that would be too, uh, that would be make it a very limited product because you can get full body tracking with VR. Yeah, it's like a body like expensive. Like, uh, freaking, I, I played some VR games at the mall a while back when there was a place where I could, like, pay to do it, and that stuff just, uh, I could barely handle the 30-minute sessions we got. Strangely enough, I'm really fine in VR. I have a friend that I hang out in VR chat with about once every couple of weeks or so. We usually go for, like, three hours in the I've gone for up to five hours and it's been fine. And, and occasionally I will experiment with sim racing in VR. I haven't really found good enough settings to where I feel like I would be comfortable running my PC to run a VR headset while I'm sim racing. I feel like I want the overhead of a newer graphics card. If I were no. to do VR no, no. chat, I would need like one of my protogens as like the avatar because I just love how they look in that. I want to. Uh, I want to. I want to see about like getting my VTuber character model as like a uh, VR chat thing. I'm going to tell you this right now about VR chat. Uh, you have to, but before you can upload any model, you have to play VR chat for a bit. You have mm. to get to the. You have to raise your trust rank to to user. Your trust rank at first is like I can't remember. It's like newbie or novice or whatever the fuck. Uh, you have to raise your trust rank once before you can upload your own avatar. I just I haven't uploaded my own avatar, but I just use like avatars I can find in avatar worlds and such, and those usually, and I usually really like those. I'd like to make a custom, get a more custom avatar. <coughs> it's just gonna, and, and I honestly, I'd like to play VR chat because it is kind of fun. I just kind of want to see what it's like. Though I, I don't know if I have the room right now for a VR. Setup. You could at least play in desktop mode. Yeah, I at least want to try desktop mode for the time being. In my in my opinion, it doesn't really give you the full experience, but it does give you a good bit of the experience. Mm. And a lot like my because uh, I use the Quest Two now to be to be transparent, I don't use the Quest Two standalone for my set. I use Steam the Steam version, and I use the uh, the Quest Two and connect to my PC. So I'm not running off the weak standalone hardware of the Quest 2. And my Quest 2 can have multiple profiles on it. Like, I can have somebody else like, sign into it and then be able to use it. Which is nice, because I... It's nice, but at the same time, those VR headsets, uh, you, you want to make sure you're cleaning not look dirt and grinding crap that gets into them, because they get on your face, uh, on your sweaty-ass face for several hours. So I realized something. I have two really crappy racing games on my Switch right now. If I go over there, I need to show you these. What games are they? Uh, let me... Ooh, Uni... Celeste is freaking... Oh, I might get Uni. Okay, oh, hold up. Let me, uh, maybe find it. Save your money! <coughs> What's in your night? I swear to God, my brain just it it, it, it and my brain just left the building, and I swear to God, I heard say speaking in an alternate language. Well, I was talking about Undernight. Oh, uh, uh, okay. It's, it's called Unist, or 
Um, freaking. So I got Gear Club Ultimate and Hi, Ruby. Charge. How's it going? Hope everything's well. Ooh, I've heard of Gear Club Unlimited too. <clears throat> Yeah, Gear Club Unlimited. I got that one because it was cheap and Hotshot Racing. And they're both kind of not good. Sounds like Hotshot Racing was actually open with an okay, like, indie racing game that was kind of based on... I could be wrong. I haven't heard much about it. I have... Uh, 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 it looks like some of these are... Maybe a mixed opinion. Gear Club Unlimited 2, I know kind of a cash grabby. Yeah. It's a mobile game it's a mobile game ported to the Switch. Yeah. You gotta love them mobile games. Unfortunately yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, Oh I'm gonna restart my computer my fucking not this one but I know where I'm seeing right now. Okay. 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 Unfortunately, and this is one thing I hope that Nintendo does with the Switch's with successor, is because I'm a racing game fan. I would love to be able to play King Ford to be able to run full scale simulations and shit. Eh, eh, that is quite simply a lot to ask. Um, and I know there'd be limited market on the Switch for it. But. Something like Sim Cake, something like a race driver race type of game, I'd love to be able to play on the go. And giving us the Switch, it's a successor, analog triggers would work wonders for that. And maybe in less Joy Con issue. I mean, yeah. I swear, I don't even use my Joy-Cons, and I have Joy-Con Drift. I have Joy-Con Drift. Mm. Miser. Oh, I was just going to say Miser is being awfully quiet. That's what this game does to you. It makes you focus. I'm... Yeah, the... I really hope the Switch is Nintendo considers adding analog triggers onto the Switch successor at er, er, controllers because I just feel like that would open up with, like, uh, oh, you could say, oh, it's not really required for racing games. Yeah, sure, but it makes them harder to control. It makes them, because you're relying on, like, Mario Kart obviously can run easily. Mario Kart does not require variable throttle and brake input. It's not designed to need it. And that's fine. I'm not talking about Mario Kart here. Mario Kart... Karting games are kind of the exception. But more... Like, even just more arcade games like I need for Steve or something of that nature still benefits from having analog triggers. And I would love to have a Switch successor be a good mobile racing platform where I can... It wouldn't be my primary use for such a thing. I buy Nintendo consoles personally to play Nintendo titles. But to have, be able to take a racing game or two on the go with me, please, hey, when I just get the racing itch and I can't get to, say, my sim rig, honestly, it would be amazing. Hey, what you doing on the roof? Doing my job. Oh, wow. Fortnite updated on my PlayStation. Why do I still have it on here? You can stream it. Even though the PS4 version doesn't work properly anymore. Yeah. Huh? Just after play. Hell, I hear the Switch hey, version here. is the better console version for this generation right now. What? Oh, for, for like this current, for like this generation of consoles. Do you have the mod just with the overclock it? Yeah. I mean, I mean, it makes together, it makes Scarlet and Violet run better if you overclock it, but like, why would you need? I don't understand why you have to feel the need to overclock your thing to run a Pokemon game. Because well, the right? Pokemon game was not properly optimized. Yeah, because they keep training you like they're making something for the Game Boy. 
Well, stop it. Get some help. I might get I some mean, help, I mean, system... I mean, don't get Ilka to help you, please. The, the next system we're going to be getting is going to apparently be as strong as a PS4, so that's going to be amazing. Yeah, I, PS4 is good console. I, I would know, that... that's what I'm playing on right now. <clears throat> now, now, I is would... it? Now, I know it, with absolutely. The it, no, micro... it's dual shocking. Ha <laughs> ha. With the rumors of Microsoft pulling out of the console market, I know some people are like, the next Switch needs to be as powerful as the PS5. I don't think so. I really, Nintendo. Power Nintendo isn't everything. Out, Nintendo carved out a niche that works for them. Their con. I, I will say I struggled with. Justifying a purchase of a PS5 because that as as cool as it would be to have a modern console. Well, here's the thing: I, Nintendo has never been the best as far as graphical fidelity, but like their how games. How about for the GameCube? Their games will usually do a good job selling the console. Okay, tell that to the GameCube, which was the most powerful console of its generation. I just wish people would stop trying to think that every game needs to look, like, hyper-realistic. I, I don't play games for it to be, like, real life. Dude, GameCube was amazing. I still remember as a kid, just... And, and even then, like, looking back at Wind Waker... Man, I remember playing that on good. this channel. I enjoyed it for what it was. Yeah. And I, I also love the art style, the nice little... Uh, Slim shit or cell shading. Those that arrow slim shading. Sli the real the real slim shading. Please stand up. I feel like that era of gaming had a lot of, and I'm not saying modern games don't have a variety of art styles because they really do. Especially when you look in the indie scene, and when you're seeing a lot of that kind of style come back. I love games that are have a strong visual style. It doesn't necessarily have to be realism. It just has to be like a strong <clears throat> visual style that suits what they're going for. Wind Waker knocked that out of the park. I want to say one game I streamed that I feel like had a really good like visual style would have to be Shantae. That had a really good visual like art direction going for it. There was no inconsistency with the art style. The, the the art was just really fun. But Not to I mention mean, the writing was funny. Go ahead, Sage. I'm looking on the Switch, and I keep seeing a bunch of obviously AI-generated stuff next to just the most random fucking simulators. There's a drone delivery simulator on this thing. Oh my god. It's the Switch. There's a ton of shovelware on it. I know, and it's just entertaining just to go through it. The same applies to the PS4. Have you looked at the PlayStation Store, buddy? Not recently, no. Yeah, oh, that's a simulator. Happy simulator. Uh, I'm a well, the job simulator. Uh, Bus driving the simulator. simulator. City roads. A certain simulator I won't name because I don't want Twitch to bonk yeah, me. Yeah. Exactly. Has, It'll never be on anything. That has a set of perfect competition. That's a racing simulator. Yeah. I play that for my league when my fucking rig is worth anyway. Uh. Um. Uh, but oh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah. Uh, one of the reasons I've been kind of hesitant on PS5 is, is, is to me it's just like it'd be cool to have, but it doesn't feel like it's I, 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 something that would provide me that unique of a game. Like, the, the Switch, I love it because it's, like, yeah, it's underpowered. It was underpowered when it was. But, it made up for that by, one, having great games, and two, being a genuinely different way to play games. It means, you can play it dot. You can, and play it on a stand, on a table. You can play it just in your hand. I've used all three of those. 
in some way, shape, or form. I've played my Switch at a laundromat and just had it propped up on one of the, on an unused washing machine while I played Smash and practiced and practiced with my Joy Con. So, like, it, it genuinely. God, I remember when I played Skyrim on Switch, and like playing it in handheld was such a weird experience at first because that's that's always been like a home console slash pc type of game what game uh skyrim yeah. and then they integrated joy con controls with it where like you could swing a joy con and swing your weapon yeah. it doesn't like... work half the fucking time but like you know it was kind of a neat little addition. Oh no, Rush PT. Now I will say, now the Steam Deck covers a more higher end version of the Switch's market. I would like the Switch to be able to be comparable to the Steam Deck, but one thing the Steam Deck doesn't have that I wish and hope Nintendo continues is I like I love the Joy Cons in tons. Their execution with their Lesser motion controls than previous consoles combined with the, the drift issues left a lot to be desired. But I would still love to see them take that concept and, okay, fix what went wrong and then and, and refine that concept. Because yeah, like, take, like, take what didn't work, make it work. Because it's like, you might think, well, I mean, it's not that valuable to be able to prop a switch, the switch up on something and play with a separate controller, but I disagree. I think, did I play it as much as I did, like, handheld? No. But the Switch is a fairly reasonably sized system. And to be able to run the power of a PS4, you're going to need quite a bit of cooling. I imagine a Switch successor is going to be bigger. The Steam Deck is a larger system. And I think it's like holding that in your hand for longer sessions. Like, can you imagine? Like, that could... I, I mean, I bet it's probably built in such a way where it doesn't make your wrist hurt after a while. But I also just like the idea of being able to just prop the, app of the thing up while I just sit. Like, say, if I'm for some reason at a laundromat and I can just prop it up on a table and just play it that way. Really, uh, wanna, I really would like to see come back uh, the Vita. The Vita is was really good. I can't use mine anymore because it kind of corrupted for some games. Now I just won't run some of them. But like, its aesthetics were really good. It was based like it was a really good competitor to the 3DS. I've never had a Vita, but I've heard the modding thing is really good for the Vita, and I've been tempted to get one. Oh my god. Okay, here's another car sim- uh, or another racing game on the Switch eShop. Car Racing Highway Driving Simulator. That sounds like a cheap mobile game that was- That name, Switch. my god. That just sounds- that seriously sounds like that fu the fucking keyword baiting trash that you see on- on every fucking mobile game store. Wait, is that? It pretty much is. Is this, is this what game I think it is? Hmm. Hold up, I, I need to wait for the eShop to actually allow it. Turn up, boy, robs a bank! Oh my god. Save your money. I'm just looking. He's looking Listen at to the shovelware. great voice from beyond. He's looking at shovelware be... right now. Uh, actually, this is a pretty good indie game from what I've heard. Oh. Yeah. yeah, it's a sequel to Turnip Boy Commits Tax Fraud. I didn't know that. Sorry, Turnip Boy. Sorry, I didn't know. How, why am I... Yeah, no, you whatever. better be sorry. Is that what he actually sounds like, or are you yeah. just... Oh no, my god, the AI art on the fucking Switch, you can tell because of the lighting! What the fuck? I feel like oh, I've beaten to death just how much I don't like AI art. Yeah. 
the pedestrian where you had to go through signs for oh god that actually looks real I'm, I'm putting this on my wish list just the way to forget it I don't think that the imagine that, a pedestrian simulator I don't think it's beating a dead horse to say you don't like a art from, an art form that's still going around and hurting artist jobs and career prospects just saying I kind of like supporting the artist yeah see this is why when I can get any sort of commission I don't want it to be an AR, AI artist Ugh. English yeah what the fuck is that game name Robo Depression what Robo Depression <laughs> What a good game that's a diagnosis. Well, I just, I, I'm just looking through the recent releases, just trying to entertain myself right now. Wait, easy dice for D and for RPG slash tabletop? What? Huh. Hmm. Sounds like it's it might not be easy. Wait, so it's like, okay. it's a thing on a Switch for a dollar. So yeah, there's nice for you. Yeah, there's sometimes like there's a there's a uh, there's a clock app, there's a calendar app, there's a freaking Okay, a JDZ, right? will you take care? You uh get good get the good sleeps. I get the sleep. Downhill driver extreme racing simulator. Sounds like that experience is going to go downhill. God, this looks like a PS2 game or PS1. Oh my god, this is old. I, I I understand, like, full-blown, uh, driving. There we go, Jesus. Or not driving. Uh, full, like, full-blown virtual tabletop. That's actually pretty helpful. What I don't fucking understand is why just have just a dice roller on a Switch Oh, so I can have the dice to roll while I'm playing a real life game. At that point, just at that point, just get some dice. dice. Just get some dice or get a mobile app. I can I mean, get for maybe absurdly rare dice, like if you wanted a D100 or something, or a D3 or whatever. No, but... there's literally a website where you can tell it how many sides are on the dice, and then just roll it. Yeah. It's like, a D, uh, one, oh, Google uh, has an RNG. What's the point of a D1? <laughs> I don't know. That's what I made it, though. A D2 is just a coin toss. It has a funny. No, a D1 is only for that one and an F1. You just get one and nothing else. No matter what you roll, it's always... It was, is, and always will. It'll always be the best and worst you'll ever get out of that. That's gonna Neon. be fun. Here, 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 let me let me roll a D one right now to see what I get. Gee, oh, wow. I wonder what you'll get. Oh wow! It's a one. Oh wow! A one. Dude. What do you know? Go figure. This Didn't be the most pointless die ever. Didn't Vsauce make a D one? Yeah, yeah I, think I think it was. Our... What is it? What? I'm dead fucking serious. What's the D1 die? What the fuck? Okay, I'm curious. I'm what is it? Say that. I'm curious. What does it look like? Yeah, now I have to. Now <laughs> I have to know. It's, it's dead. You would have to see this. Gladiatorial quest? Oh, uh, <laughs> okay. So it's. It's. It's a. Well, the one I'm looking at is a Mobius strip, which makes sense. <laughs> And then been... oh, someone send me what it looks like. We also have balls and cylinders. Okay, well, here's all. Could you, you can always put just throw it in mute. Yeah, here's. Oh, that's Gen. That's Janeiro. Ooh, yeah, this is... Rangers, the three kingdom. This is a one-sided guy. Oh, okay. oh. Yeah, it's a, it's a Mobius strip. What? That's not even a die. That's like, that's like something you'd wear on your wrist. But the, that's the joke, though. It, it only has one side. I want one. Do you guys want to see the one that Vsauce made? Yes. 
it's it's like here I'm gonna roll this die if it if I get a one you lose. But if you but if you get a one, you I lose. <laughs> what? Yeah, I have a D one. <laughs> oh, cause it. Okay, okay, yeah, that's really dumb. I love I it. Honestly, I, I want, want it. I'm, yeah. I want some more of it. I want to roll a D one of the fucking IRL D and D D table. Just to, and just watch everyone confused. Watch everyone be thoroughly confused. <laughs> I rolled to seduce the dragon. Okay, D1. <laughs> All for fucking D1. You would never fail or lose. Uh, uh, I'll roll at that point. Yeah, at, at that point. Do you call it at the next one or do you call it at the net one? Net one. It, it's a. It's a. Uh, it's a Schrodinger's net. Is it a success or a it's, failure? It's... It's both a success and a failure at the same time. That was a failure. A one-sided die, you roll it, and it's like always it's, a failure. It's always a failure. I, I treat it like a Schrodinger's cat situation. <laughs> you see that cat? You see that box? If I, t I tell you there's a cat in there, there might not be a cat in there, but it could be there. God, you, you don't I know. I wouldn't want to run a D1 die at this dumb, at this really dumb idea I've had for a D and D session, where every nat twenty or nat one has catastrophic uh, consequences. Uh, Shiro, Schrodinger's cat is not is the cat in there. It's is the cat alive or dead? In which case, the answer is both. One of these days, I got to go onto Steam and buy KDZ the Truck Simulator because I just feel like <laughs> that. That would be the game for him. Yay! I get to come home from my job to do my job. <laughs> Key Simulator. B Simulator. Oh, what? Where you just fly around, collect pollen from flowers, and go back to work for? Uh... For 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 a um, for a monarchy. Ooh, fantasy blacksmith simulator. It's probably terrible. I think Markiplier's played that before, actually. That's for the useful information. Uh, what else is on my timeline? A Bill. collection of off-road ones. Let's see. For a while, I wanted to get into American Trucking Simulator, but then I was like, yeah, you kind of need a wheel setup for that. And I don't have I'm, the room I'm... for that. Ooh, here's a collection. Oh, hey, I'll come Sports over. I'll... Oh. oh, sorry. I'll, I'll come over. I'll go over there, and I will make room if you watch. Alright, I... I'm like... Getting tired, so I'm probably gonna head out. I right, have Cheers. fun, Pete. Hey, Pete. Yeah, see ya. Oh my god, Quadra Fan Simulator. A what? What the fuck? Hey, the pol police Quadra Fan Simulator. Oh, so what? Where you confiscate shit me? from people? <laughs> the best thing is. Police aren't the same thing as correctional officers. Uh, who's not playing in the uh, power wash simulator, by the way? Uh, just me yeah. and Miser right now. Huh. And me, but I'm, uh, doing it solo. Yeah. Uh, do you have to, like, unlock the ability to play with more than one other person? Um, for career well, mode, you can yeah, play with, like, play one with other both. person. But, like, for free play, you can play up to four, I think, up to, is it four or six? Six people, but uh, that's free play. Yeah, for uh, the story mission, you can only do it up to two. Yeah. Oh my god, I have found the most lame use of AI art on the, on the fucking thing. Jigsaw pets for twenty dollars. Oh, uh, these are. This is probably my last one because I'm, my eyes are being closing in and out. 
I had to work this morning. I mean, we've only been live for like a little over an hour, so I can probably just do whatever by myself. Um, or you got, or you know, you you got another person with the game. Yeah. Yeah. Spectra, do you have the PS4 version? Yeah, I'm playing the PS4 right now, uh, version right now. Oh, sick. I'm a sticky boy. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't mind. What the hell? A uh, driving world? I cannot see what the last one is. Multi-level parking driver. So valet City parking. Traffic driver. City traffic driver. That sounds terrible. I'm, yeah, I want to browse some strange things now. Touch simulated USA Revolver. What the fuck? That looks like a knockoff. Roman Empire Simulator, what the fuck? Literally, you could just get away with playing Civ. Yeah. Animal Farm Parky, what the fuck? Police and that's Farm obviously... Driver, that looks... First of all, that's a licensed car. Wait, no, that's definitely AI. Because that looks like the front of a Ford car. It's the side of a Toyota Camry. Dang, you can identify cards really easily. It Use really depends on the spec. It really depends on the era of car. If you, if it's like was made before like 1960, I have a much harder time. Yeah, what the fuck is this thumbnail? Courageous reason, courageous reasoning. Nori four crossing street four, and it's just. Entirely in Japanese. Farm, what? farming, farm day simulator. Does this so, have any English support? Why is it on the English shop? Mm -hmm. yeah, we already have farming simulator. We don't need really, yeah, more. We have a lot of farming simulator. We still got the yeah. wheat bakery tycoon. Okay. Technically, isn't Stardew Valley kind of like a farming simulator? That's... no. Not to the same degree. That's an okay. arcade game to a degree. I'm not saying this getting the name of this game on stream, but how the fuck did this end up on the new shop? That mean the name of it over Discord. I'm I wanna sure. know. Yeah, put it in the yeah, mute chat. I'm just... We didn't mute chat. Oh, it looks like there's a bunch of RPG Maker, like, Japanese games on here, which I could give them a try sometime. I do still need to understand how to balance RPG Maker. Well, that was something oh, was dear God. Wait, did you find that on the Switch? Yeah. Yeah, there are a lot of games like that on the Switch. Oh, a lot of okay. You, you oh, and I misspelled it too. How the fuck? How the fuck? Oh, we already know what you're talking about, Jesus. Oh, oh shit. Oh, bro. It's, not, like, it's, it, it's not one of the banned games on Twitch, but from the sound of the name, it is. it sounds like a pretty risque kind of game. Oh, yeah. Like right, one that yeah. would get you banned anyway. Oh, yeah, just for the content, yeah. Yeah, I saw one recently called H Skull. It's not saying the first word. Forklift simulator. Oh god, it's forklift certified. Yeah. Oh no! Stay out of my way, I need forklift certified. What the fuck? Seven six. Why is it? Okay, I'm gonna wait for starting to chug on this. I'm gonna have to stop. Why is. No runner for your anniversary edition. A hundred and ten dollars on the Switch. No, I, <laughs> no runner can barely run properly on the PC. Why the fuck is it on Switch? Mm -hmm. Moto Rush GT. That's not AI art in the slightest. Mm -hmm. 
must be nice when you can tell something's AI art just at a single glance. Yep. Gunstop Racer. Which was an unlicensed King of Fury and unlicensed from the Rogue Runners. We've got some three shots of a Carmero, a, a Corvette, a Chevy Bel Air. None of these are licensed. All the badges are removed, but that's all they did. Didn't change anything about them. Yeah. But like, there's a bunch of cars that are kind of like copyrighted. Yeah, they're actual, like, they're actual cars, but they don't have the badging, so they technically can get away with it. I don't really know. Ferrari has been going on a DMK fucking meltdown lately. Okay. So, and taking down like mods and shit. So I don't know if maybe. Yeah, cause these are. Uh, these are clearly. So, these are clearly like. That wouldn't surprise me if these were stolen 3D models. Probably. Because you can rip good 3D models from other racing games, or just mediocre ones for some poor stuff. If you rip. If you're like a model ripper. And you're like, I'm gonna fucking rip 3D models from Forza? You played yourself. Because unless it's the newest card that gets added to Forza, you are ripping some of the worst 3D models currently in gaming. City Highway Racing mm -mm -mm, Driving. That City ra Car Racing Highway Driving Simulator. Let's see, we got a D-Badge Aventador FZ, we got a D-Badge McLaren T1, we've got a D-Badge Huracan, looks like an Evo model, looks like we got a D-Badge Ford Focus, D-Badge Lambo and Lamborghini Urus, it looks like a D-Badge Ford Transit van, got the BMW M8, they're not even hiding it, yeah the badge is gone, but the fucking iconic kidney grill, it's still there. And to be honest, this looks like they ripped it from Forza. I, I think there is an entire, like, if you go to genres, you can probably just search racing in general and find a ton of them. Isn't there, uh, isn't there a Forza Horizon game that has a Final Fantasy car in it? Yeah, Horizon 3 and 4 both have the cars from Final Fantasy 15, both in road and off-road version. I've owned both versions in in Forza Horizon games, and they are tanks. We have the Regalia. Also an airship. The Regalia off-roader, to be fair, was kind of fun. And the, yeah. the, it was kind of cool to cruise in the uh, the uh, non-off-road version. It was like, yeah, but that was really all it was. I tried turning it into a race car, it just didn't take corners for shit. Wait, the I mean, Regalia? Yeah. Not a Fantasy 15 is an actual car? It's not an actual car, but it was put into Forza Horizon. It was a cross-promotion deal. Forza Horizon 4 also had that one, like, mid-engine supercar from Cyberpunk. Yeah. Kind of like how Breath of the Wild had a bunch of Xenoblade 2 stuff. And every Forza Horizon game since Forza Horizon 3 has had a playable Warthog from Halo. Yeah. I bet they're slowly fixing Cyberpunk. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, it came out like garbage and now they're fixing it. Someone did a randomizer for Mystery Dungeon, got Primal Dialga. Oh my god. Yeah. It's not impossible. Hell, you could get a Giratina that calls itself a Floatzel. Okay, yeah, let's take some shots. Let's take some shots. Yeah. Nintendo, you need to go in and optimize this better, because if you're having done a search in my genre, this is just a fucking disaster. You made me get the ladder for this. I have 813 racing games. Yeah, those aren't the, those aren't all legit. I mean, the first few they're gonna show are like, Disney Speedstorm, yeah, that's a, that's a game. And Rocket League, F-099, I've played it a couple of times, it's really fun. Asphalt 9, just a fucking mobile port. Mario Kart, Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit Remastered. I think I've played this Hot Pursuit one. 
good game. I probably wouldn't get it on Switch because it will, uh, uh, well, maybe it's decent on Switch. Uh, uh, Burnout Paradise Remastered. Love the original Burnout Paradise. Burnout Paradise. So fucking fun. Lego 2K Drive. I think we played that on a PS5 PS. Oh, hell yeah. And it was pretty fun. Snow Runner, how the fuck did you get that running on a Switch? Yeah. Very so careful. Some, some of these I'm surprised. Like, WRC 9, the official game. How did you get that? Like, okay, I can get see why you, how you got it on Switch, but why? Like, I know WRC isn't the most prolific driving sim, but it's like, it's decent enough real driving sim. You know when it's for $2 and it's a real driving sim. Okay, how many ripped off cars can I spot in this? This ought to be interesting. Load the pictures. Just in the first picture, that is a Toyota Supra. Uh, a Mercedes, looks like that is the, the GT4. We've got a BMW X5, looks like a Ferrari. That could be a 488. It's, the, it's so blurry I can't fucking tell, and I can't tell what that sedan is. Eh. we got an Audi. God, like I can a... not climb a ladder to save my life. Could be a Q5 or RS Q5. Nope. Maybe the thing, uh... uh... Mutual. Yeah. A Mustang GT and a fucking Audi A4 no, let me there we go. Star. There we go. We got a Huracan Performance. This one looks like an Audi A3, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we got Ferrari F12 and a Huracan Performante. They actually tried to change the rear window on the Huracan Performante. Okay. Okay. So it's not a total ripoff. Tesla Model S. They're just like, yeah. The company that's notoriously picky about their licensing. Car parking multi What the fuck? And the cover car is a brand new BMW M4. And it looks like an M5 behind it. Of course, debadge. And they didn't even do a good job of debadging it. It's a black circle. They. Yeah. Next page is a pair of D badge two pros that one of them's not even D badge. It's still playing explain the Toyota logo loud and proud. How do I game? I'm honestly not sure if Nintendo could even fix the problems because even PlayStation struggles with everywhere. Mercedes. I can't get rid of the ladder. Logo. That looks like another GT4. What is it? What is GT4 I, being in these? I put it down and it immediately re-equips my inventory. Mudrunner. Move, move over here. Another game I'm surprised. Super Street. Yeah, it does. Uh, What's that for? Are you pressing down the D-pad? Yeah, and it immediately comes back into my inventory. You go over here. Real car drive parking. What the fuck is this bullshit? We got a 812 super fast, a 570S Roadster, a Jeep Wrangler. They didn't even bother renaming the Wrangler. They Maybe don't if you press you. a certain button, you cancel it. It's the Wrangler. They don't know which one. They didn't rename the E36. They got a Peugeot 207, it's just the PG 207. They didn't even rename the Scirocco. They just added the, a GTS If you press the shoe team. button, it should cancel. I highly doubt these are licensed. Yeah, it does nothing. It keeps putting it down and putting it back into my inventory. You give them the same name, but you take off the badge. I found a bug with the game. Nastar Heat Ultimate Edition Plus. Might as well be shovelware. Yeah, I'm really Oh, you can, like, roof the roof Rifles, again, might it well be shovel. Car X Rift Racing Online is here? Game. It has problems running on PC, especially on multiplayer. And it's got a that fairly realistic here. physics. How the fuck is it running on a Switch? 
Control, I have how do I, that game. How do I drop? How do I drop? Breakfast is just fucking impressive. But Breakfast is a game I have played. I don't own it, but I played it on a simulator at a racetrack. I mean, totally I'm recommend that. I really that should fix my problem. I really want to get wreck fast, but I want to get people to just absolute car the car games bundle more of those shitty car games. Oh sure, now I can put the thing down. For ten dollars, you can get fifty dollars worth of game and of these great racing games. Man, if I was a YouTuber, I would love to just pay hey, we'll do a video series. I'm just these shitty double working and laugh. I'm gonna go and laugh. Uh, what is go. just this cover alone? All this, all that or... nonsense, all that got... bullshit, just so I can finish the gutters. I mean, yeah. Looks like I think that's a Urus next to a third. I can't remember what generation number was, but Prius. Let me guess, you're doing the bungalow? No, we're doing the detached house. M8. Uh, I'm doing the bungalow. Earlier generation looks like a C class, or an, no, I don't think it's a C class, but like that it was an E class. A 992 generation 911. Charger, how, how wide body. Clarence, yeah. 720. I did this, uh, my entire thing uh, solo. The Hellcat wide body. Yeah. That will look for some kind of five series. Feel, uh, doing that? Oh yeah, I've been uh, doing that game. Trying to do it uh, with a team. Oh, but guys, you're on enemy. It'll be a lot. Um, yeah. Yeah, but uh, Alpha. Over uh, here. I got a Lamborghini, a a Aventador SVJ. Oh, these guys are brazen driving school simulator. We got a. Uh, we got an obvious Nissan R4. On the railing. Looks like they added a weird third headlight to it. Don't know why they did that. But it's obviously, it's, we got the V-Tune button on it. And we got the, some, I can't remember the fucking model name, but I was going to say the Google name, and they're actually just fucking confusing. They're Coupe SUV, and I... Basically, it's Mercedes' version of the BMW X6. If anyone's ever heard me rant about cars I don't like, they, they would know the BMW X6 is one of them. Land Rover Defender, okay. Porsche Taycan. They're, they're not even hiding this shit. They're not even hiding it. They just ripped the badge off. And they, but the cars are still very, like, obviously the, the original cars. Oh, this ought to be interesting. Cut, pain, oh, God damn it. There we go. Can, can, can Josie co racing? And highway, that's a Japanese highway racing game. It looks like the D Badge 240Z Skyline Supra. I'm only Skyline. I can name Blaine's. I'm probably gonna pass out my chair. Um, okay, yeah, S13. Looks like another S13, another Skyline. Like um, Spectre, you can join me if you want. I have it open. Right. Is that um, <sighs> all right? Shoe house or skate park? To you. I'd say, uh, um, let's do the, um, uh, skate park. Yeah. Is that a fucking NB Miata next to a fucking... Okay, I, ha I'm ha I got it loading up. They don't even look yeah. like they fit together. I'm Why? Not, uh, <laughs> I don't even have the uh, upgraded one off. Do you get if Shiro, if Shiro has it, you have it. Okay, cool. Okay, mm. I'm gonna look at equipment. Yeah, I'm gonna go to bed though. I'm, I'm tired. Yeah, right. All right. Later, hey guys. And then it's okay, okay, okay. You got all these uh, which are realistic looking cars, realistic environment. And you got this screenshot of oh, it's an NB Miata, and next to it is this is this is sexualized anime girl, but the lighting looks really off, and she kind of looks like she's dead. 
head just standing there. It's just that's weird. Maybe she is dead. She seems dead inside, that's for sure. Yeah. Couple of RX seven. Okay, that is cool. That... Yeah, that one that was is a good so one. cool, Sage. Man, that was got admit I wish uh see that more. I need to go and play more of that, but I am um, uh, yeah, the, the I think I'm still waiting for you. Ferris, um, I don't know why, but I immediately thought of Flame and Blue. Integra, Civic, and RX-7. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. That RX-7 has stolen body kit pieces from these. For... These are all ripped models. These are all ripped. From somewhere. Spectra, yeah, coming in. Okay, my switch is <laughs> starting to... I'm uh, trying to... Apparently it wasn't letting me for a moment. There you My go. Which is slowly dying of death looking at the eShop. That eShop needs to be better optimized. Clean yourself off. I, I get one. Uh, maybe it's a blessing in disguise that the, the, that the Switch eShop isn't... Got to do this uh, so I can... Maybe it's a blessing in disguise that the eShop isn't well optimized. My god. Because... I, gotta, I gotta ask. Who the hell shit all over this skate park? Uh, was it you, Sage? Stop right. blaming Sage for everything. It was obviously you. I you didn't did do it before it. the stream started. I know you did. <laughs> I don't go to skate parks, bro. I don't know how to I skate. I watched you do it. Exactly. You hate skating. You you, you go out of you know, when people go skating on your shrine. You you yell at them like an old man telling people to get off their lawn, and <laughs> and, 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 and and so to get back at them, you. You went to their skate park and you just destroyed it. Hey, Joe, over here. Can you help me with this? Oh, I got this ball out of here. And now you're taking credit for cleaning it up, but everyone knows what you do. Oh, yeah, there's, there's, a, there's an NPC persona I think you might be interested in. Fuck, uh, man, who can't take credit? Uh. That, that, that's what's great thing. Great thing, kind of the five. Um. <laughs> ooh, sure that, oh, wait, I was already gave I already gave my ex a, 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 and I already told y'all to destroy the state park. And she wrote the news and deny it. What? <laughs> Did you listen to my weird rambling at all? I'm sorry, but I have high pressure water blasting in my ears right now. I was saying that you were getting annoyed that skaters were skating on your shrine. Yeah, I so heard went, that. So you went to the skate park and you dirty and he like destroyed the skate park and you're trying to clean it to take credit. I have an important question for the chat. What chat? Oh, Can yeah. you know if he was stop asking you what your favorite would you Blunt weapon is they don't even care. It's a flying snake, by the way. I think snakes are underrated. I gotta go with the Morning Star or the Quarter Staff. Oh, wow. Uh, I tried getting the ball out. It won't leave. Uh, is that, is uh, getting the ball out required? Not really. This is an achievement, though. You can get from it. Just pick the ball. Can't. You have to spray it. Can't. Just move your leg. That's it, I believe. I don't got you. I'm scared. Also, oh, today is apparently Gaumon Day. You know what else is today? Today is I sleep so I can get up, clean my house, and get my taxes done today. So, I'm gonna go do the sleep. 
So y'all have fun. Mm. All right, bye. bye. There, I helped with the pool. Hey, what was the reason we couldn't have gone with Gaumon again? I don't know. It's uh, Labramon. Oh, the evolution lines uh, cross. Yeah. I forget that you can just climb on things. Wait, only in only in Common Rider could you have the could you harness the power of the sun and time itself as one off gimmicks. Then the next episode you face off against a hot vampire man. Yeah. Nothing like cleaning things up. DMFP. Oh, someone's in love over here. Come sprayed off. You don't believe in love. Oh, you do actually do have to get it off. That's so funny. Okay, so I need more motivation to buy Final Fantasy 16 whenever I can. Look at these two. A little bit busy right now, Sage. I have to erase love from this wall. Wait, in Monster Hunter, you can have a pizza shield? Yeah, there are joke weapons in the game. I'd love to be able to use that. You're like, pizza served! There's also a giant drumstick, and I would love to cosplay as Kurai without just bonking a freak. <laughs> Pretty darker could go with that. Hey. Jimmy. It, it's it's Cheryl. Huh? Oh, I said say Jimmy. Oh wait, wait, you need to you wanna see the thing? No. You know what I mean? By Jimmy. Hmm? Are you seeing what what, what? I'm confused. Jimmy. J I M M E. Uh, J I M M Y. No, no, not Jimbo. That man was put in the Shadow Realm. Hey, come on, man. You know what I'm talking about. Mm hmm? 
Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm kind of blinking right now. I erased love from this wall and it rewarded me with money. Uh, Are you fair? My mind's not. He's the night, huh? Jimmy. He's the night, Jimmy. Uh. One piece, me and D. Yeah, sorry, it kind of just blanked without any context at that moment. Me over here just erasing drawings. Art is expressive. You can't be putting that on this wall. What's up with the power washer? There's a lot of dirt on this wall. There we go. That's a whole section of wall done. Wait, did you know before select screen was assigned to Hedgehog 2, as April Fools Edward played before the movie that showed? The entire first movie at 2x speed, Ben Schwartz and Sonic saying April Fool. The advert has not been found online or remains lost. 
Well. Oh my god, I want to find that. Find what? They played an advert of the entire first Sonic movie before the second movie came out that was just the first movie at 2x speed. Why though? It's fucking stupid and I love it. Also, KDZ actually kind of got to me as to why I prefer Shoshomaru over Sephiroth. Okay. Mainly because, well, Shoshomaru is an asshole, he's not evil. He's more so an anti-hero. Okay. God, I'd love to rewatch Inuyasha again. But that... That anime is so full of filler. I mean, even if it technically doesn't have any, that story is just... Man. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! Okay, that's something I can't mention on stream. Yeah, please don't. God, I knew people were mad at the guy behind the freaking AMC versus Coyote thing, but Jesus Christ. Well, the internet fucking hates you. They fucking hate you. I think I want to head out. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Okay. Yeah. It's just the two of us on this stream now. Us against the world. It's just us against the world. I have not unlocked anything past medium duty, I'm sorry.
looking at the come on, how it it watches up from a and the PS4 perspective, the PS5 perspective is really good. Uh, night and day. Yeah, next week's definitely going to be uh, Splatfest. Yeah. Which, I mean, that should be fun. You're blue and I'm red. No, there's a, there's a game I've been meaning to play on stream here, but like, I actually got to get the game. That one. Uh, have you heard of Metal Wolf Chaos? I, I believe you said that before, but like, I don't remember when. Yeah, you told me about that before. It's been uh, remember when. Some sort, of, some sort of uh RPG or something? Um It's like uh Metal Wolf Chaos is like a beat 'em up type of mecha game. You're the president of the United States and you pilot a mech suit. And the main villain is the oh, vice yeah. president. <laughs> yeah, that's the game. <laughs> Yeah, no miser showed it to me like a while ago. Presidential civil war against each other for the right of what? The presidency? No, just because the vice president's an asshole. That'd be great. It's a very silly game. I bet. Yeah, Jello Apocalypse has a video about it on his channel. Where him and a friend play it together. And it looks really fun. You can pretty much destroy a lot of things as in that mech suit. I'll go and check him out though. Yeah, chance to. You know, uh, there are certain uh 
new places and things that really caught my attention. Um, some, oh god, I don't want to get on a... Oh, actually, screw it, I can do it right now. I can literally go in and out between now. Uh, it's so I can just figure out what the... Have a uh, uh, still a blade. Uh, that's one thing I can't uh, my attention enough. Maybe Dragon Dogma too. Uh, but here's the one I'm looking for: The Rise of Ronin. Oh, there was boy, like. There was like a Dark Souls like game that I watched some gameplay for one time. It was like, I think it was Sekiro. Oh, Sekiro, yeah, Sekiro's a, um, a game that uh, has its uh, Dark Souls features, but it's uh, honestly a really good game too. Sekiro, you got the Elden Ring. Uh, There's that. Code Vein. That's kind of like Vane. a Souls-like game. Yep. That's one I kind of want to try and play on the stream here at some point, is uh, Code Vein. Well, I have it too. Play is. I'm trying to just do it just to make a character. Character want uh, would look like. I would uh, play it uh, too. Oh yeah, that's right. Let's just check again if I have a. Uh, you know, I can, I can just check myself for right now. So. Whoever's yeah, drawing yeah. all over this needs to stop. Yeah, this one's this this map's just kind of like. I don't know, I guess I don't mind it too much. But like... There's a lot of graffiti on this map. Fuck, I don't have that. Uh, I have it on my PS4, I just don't have uh, the guy I needed to on my PS5. Let's see, I have Guide Eater 2 Rage Verse on this, con on this console, and I have Guide Eater 3 on Switch. Guide Eater 3, uh, I'm, uh, is it crossplay? I'm honestly not sure. I'm guessing it doesn't. Nope. Well, that's unfortunate.
Well, that was that. God, when you tell the game to show you the dirt, and it's all over the place, it's like, oh, that's bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, believe me, when it gets worse than uh, this. I think this is a, oh, a flashbang. Uh, wait until you go into a thing called the washroom. The entire room gets, needs to be cleaned. It's a flashbang of a lifetime. Oh boy. Your house isn't that bad, uh. <laughs> it's just a pain to deal with. There's so much floor. Yeah, it is such a nuisance. Oh yeah, we also have a uh, um, uh, Final Fantasy stuff in here as well. I don't know if I have it downloaded. I believe you can download it. Uh, I'm uh, I'll be uh, downloading it in the background. Oh, yeah, it would be a problem. Ah, uh, there we go. So yeah, you would be uh, playing. Uh, you can uh, actually go uh, to uh, uh, Seventh Heaven uh, and clean that up. You got that. You got that uh, scorpion robot. Oh boy, do you have a full replica of what the. Uh, uh, Whatever the place is called for in that world, uh, I remember the name. Uh, for what now? For Final Fantasy Sevens, uh, world, it's uh, you know, the place is called. Is called. Yeah, and there's a full replica of it, uh, as a, a museum piece to clean up. Kinda reminds me of the one Miser and I tagged the last time I streamed this, where it was like a kid's playing park with a bronchiosaur slide. Yeah. I had to do that solo. I, you guys had had the lucky you two uh, did it together. I I did the uh, our story mode uh, most of the story mode solo. Not fun.
especially when uh, you're dealing with uh, every nook and cranny trying to figure out where the rock the thing is called over it is the I'm a little uh, yeah. that. with medium duty I need two thousand dollars and forty stars to get prime vista three thousand yep. and pro duty is the prime vista pro I need 90 stars and five thousand dollars for that one yeah that one's gonna be a lot of grinding Yep. You kind of think I feel lost. Uh, I'm uh, trying to grind that thing out. I have it uh, on, the PS on the PS5 version. But it is, uh, I, yeah, I don't know. It's just, uh, pain. Oh, the pro version? Again. You do what you have to do. Uh, try doing this entire thing solo. I feel like I might pass out before I do it. Yeah. This is why I prefer to have someone to play with. I can, like, talk with them. This is kind of why I want to get a playlist fixed up for this. Maybe next time I'll actually have a playlist I can work with. And some music that you can uh, constantly uh, play around with without uh, maybe falling right asleep. Uh, without getting like struck or anything. Yeah. Or getting my VOD muted or something. Getting your body and without the you know, yeah. uh, falling asleep, uh, it seems. It's just, I've been pretty tired lately, so like. I've been falling asleep a lot easier nowadays. But, I mean, not the worst thing in the world, but like. I don't want that to happen to me on stream. Yeah. Never a fun time with that. I just try to keep my music, uh, like, loud, uh, heavy metal music, uh, heavy metal, uh, heavy rock, uh, music going on. Uh, oh my god, someone put the swag S on this wall. Yeah, that too. That, that's actually kind of funny.
get the long extension on there. There we go, that's a little better. What's up? What, what, what's going on? Uh, just taking a swig of a Dr. Pepper. Some pop. Yeah, I don't have soda. I just got water. I will never stop drinking soda. I will live by the soda. I don't know. I wanted to try and be a little healthier. Every once in a while I crave soda and then I just like tell myself no. I mean, that's entirely fair. Alcohol... I mean, alcohol, you have to m watch it in moderation. Yeah. Like, I don't even drink that often. I think... Yeah, the last time I drank was definitely during Christmas time. But, like... I remember when it came to my anniversary stream, and I had, like, two or three hard lemonades just sitting ready to go. So I was like, yeah, it's my one-year anniversary. I want to celebrate that. I want to keep the swag S on there as long as possible. Sorry, Swag guess, but you have to go. God, I remember that from when I was in school. Like, a lot of people I knew just drew that ass a lot. Hell, I drew the ass a couple of times. I could never quite do it correctly, but, like... Um, I can barely hear you. Um, I wonder if there's something I can turn up on Discord. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. User volume. Yeah. Um, what did what did it mean anyway? So, I'm not swagger ass. I have no idea. I don't. Um, uh, so I guess it's gone forever now. I really don't remember. I wish I did remember, because, like... Like, it was cool when I was younger. And now it's just kind of funny to see it in places. It's like, si it's like seeing a nod to older meme culture. Yeah. Because every time I saw it, I was always thinking of... Uh... Michigan State to uh, pass. Oh yeah, they do have an S for their thing. Yeah. See, I don't pay attention to sports, really. Like, more power to people if they pay attention to sports. It's not my thing. I don't yeah. care for stick-and-ball sports. 
I think the only one I've ever taken interest in is soccer or like, you know, football. Hell, there was a time I was into WWE. I don't know why. <laughs> it was like a short-lived thing I was interested in. And then I watched like some UFC fights and it was like, oh, okay, cool, this is a little bit better. watching MMA fighting. It was like mixed martial art stuff. Yeah. These like see a bit of everything. Mm -hmm. You can see why I uh, made a gray that way. You know, in that, in his uh, world, uh, he is the uh, Youngest MMA uh, champion. Three times over. The one thing I've noticed, and this is, this is just from like me watching other content creators, is I don't see too many content creators that have their own creative world or anything that they work on in their spare time or like like something like that but like when you do see it, it's kind of cool like uh, how uh, Sage or E-Man? yeah like well kind of like that but like also like stuff that like they work on creatively yeah. I kind of like to see how people can get creative with stuff. Like, uh, fairly recently, Tricky We got a secondary model for a character that was, like, just kind of there. Not really as a joke character, but, like, a character she came up with that, like, her fans just absolutely love. Is this a, one of black-haired or one, or...? It's a, it's a, a it's a white-haired one. It's Nouvelle. Oh. That's a spider lady. Which I find really interesting because she's arachnophobic. Seems as though it's... arachnophobia can uh, won't even stop creative minds. Yeah. Funny how fear can also be a motivator. <laughs> and me and me saying that just sounds extremely dark. Yeah, I saw something on TikTok before about. Uh... Yeah, it was a Australian thing. Hey, you, hey, I'm never going to ever, ever go to Australia. I saw that one thing, and I'm now uh, deadly uh, afraid of 
no, I hear there's some crazy shit down there. I mean, there's an entire uh, fucking uh, farm there. Giant, uh, like, a whole thing uh, full of spiders. One, uh, yeah. I honestly feel bad for Australian people because, like, they get to deal with some insane shit. It's not even their fault. I mean, they hell, to... hell, they had a freaking war with the emus for a while. Yeah. I don't know how to I still don't know how in the world they... Um, I still don't know about why they uh, had a fucking war with them, but... Yeah. Yeah, the funny part, the emus won. Yeah, that one seems to... <laughs> Maybe it's something to do with uh, an extinction of the emus, but yeah, who knows. God, there's gotta be <laughs> something in the water over there in Australia. Cause my god. Like, and I and I know at least one person who lives in Australia, and they're like really chill. I'm just like, bro, how how are you alive right now? <laughs> one thing I'm thinking about is you're. Oh, an adulterated bike in Australia. Like, props to them for making it all this time. Yeah, props to them. Because I, I would have probably died by now, let's be real. <laughs> I would have wanted to move out right then and there. I don't know how the hell I managed to climb this wall. I'm wondering. It would be a bit of an awkward jump, but can I get from here to this thing? Yeah, you can. Oh hell yeah, let's go. Cause I don't want to go. I don't want to get on the metal fence posting over there, cause that's that wouldn't let me climb on the rest of that. You remember, I did this solo. Oh, so you would know the nooks and crannies. Yeah. No, when Meisner and I did the the uh, park, I did the the Bronco slide. <laughs> yeah. Because I was like, yeah, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna fix the dinosaur. God, I want to see the fast-forward replay of this. Just me jumping around on these walls. You would just see me, uh... basically try to get that stupid, uh... ball out of that, uh... Right now. I'm gonna fire involved for a while until I say fuck it. I feel like we need a higher-pressure gun for that. Yes, we do.
And once we get this done, we can actually do it on free play. Free play, yeah. So we don't have to worry about story uh, stuff. We can just do it uh, in our own leisurely uh, way. Oh, speaking of U VTuber models, um, a VTuber friend of mine recently had her model finally, like, fully rigged. And there's, like, a showcase for it on YouTube. And it looks really well done. Just like... And, like, she's such a sweetheart, too. The, the, the one that got her model done. Oh, I couldn't quite make that jump. Oh, well. I'll, I'll work on the arch since I'm over here. I got a good bit of the wall top area. No, upon first glance with this, I thought this was like a giant tire or something. But that's just how dirty it was. Oh, this thing? Yeah. Yeah, the arch, yeah. No, fun thing, I never learned to ride a bicycle. So places like this were never a hangout option for me. I never uh, rode a skateboard. I tried to, it was just a, more of a pain uh, trying to learn for a while. So I just like, I gave up. Yeah, I I never really bothered learning to ride a bicycle. One of those, one one of those things where like I tell people about it and they're just like, what what the fuck, bro? Why are you not knowing to ride bike? And I'm just like, I never really cared to learn. I prefer to walk. I prefer walking. And in all honesty, we. It was more of a, uh, this is trying to figure out how to you know, keep your balance. Yeah, and I have a really bad sense of balance. Why do you think I have a bad ankle? <laughs> right. But no, uh, my VTuber friend, her name is Asa Chibi. She either goes by Asa or Chibi. She's like a a sea cat VTuber. Lots of cat puns. But she's an absolute sweetheart. I'll uh, check her out though when I get you. So like, Asa? Like, how do you it, It's that? ASA. Okay, you say. That helps. I'd have to look at what her name is on Twitch, but I could send you the profile if you wanted to check out her channel. Yeah. Because I remember watching her a lot when she played uh, Code Vein. No, she's a lot of fun. I was gonna say, I think she's also on my Spirit Force server as well. Yeah. I'm really on this server now, I can just check. Yeah, you could look and find her on there. <coughs> Whoa, what the heck? What? What? Yeah. 
You can leave the, uh... I can launch myself off of this thing. That's funny. I mean, this, uh... This is supposed to be a, uh... Not just an arch, but also a... A mouth. At, uh... <coughs> type of, uh... Thing you can, uh... Ride the bike on, uh, that basically uh, makes it up. Uh, full on. I don't know, uh, how to kind of explain it, but it's, uh. No, see, like, I never learned to ride a bike or skateboard or anything, but I enjoyed growing up a lot of, like, Tony Hawk Pro Skater games. Yeah. I mean, I just, uh, not recently, but, uh, quite a while ago, I, uh, did learn how to ride a scooter. A scooter. I knew how to ride a bike, it was just more of a line of, that I'm just gonna suck. the right one, and, uh, I now think, uh, now I can only, around here I can basically barely drive anything except for a car. I don't need any, don't need to, uh, uh, drive anything, uh, ride anything except for some sort of bike. This redhead's fine. It does a more consistent thin stream. I just don't like it for some reason. I prefer to have a wider, like, shooting. Wider spread of a. Uh, yeah, like wider spread. Water. Yeah. Yeah. It does help, uh, you know, that one of, uh, the uh, triumphs to do, uh, I'm, uh, trying to do, you need to uh, do that red, uh, that exact red, uh, I'm, uh, pressure, uh, nozzle? Yeah. You, you need to uh, do that to the van with, uh, with only the red nozzle. It's not that bad, it's just more fun noise. Can you do repeats of already done jobs to get more stars and money? On free, pro uh, free play. Okay, so it's not on career play. Career play, you can, uh, uh career play, yeah, this is just, uh, going through every single, uh, um, uh, uh, job you have to do. Free play, yeah, you can, uh, we play those, uh, exact, uh, So you can up. just grind it over and over? Yes. Because I was thinking I might see about grinding out, getting better, like, guns and nozzles and stuff. I mean, you get more money, uh, the, for, uh, the harder, uh, more harder things, uh, more harder, um, uh, jobs. Oh, hey, welcome back, Elfire. The fire. Yeah, it's just me and Spectra right now. Uh, Miser went to bed. And Sage. It's everyone except for us, us two. It's just the two of us against this gnar gnarly looking skate park. And I don't mean gnarly as in cool, I mean gnarly as in my god, what, what, what shit all over this skate park. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. Miser was obviously tired from work, and I don't blame him. 
work can be a very tiring endeavor. And I, and I work I work as a like customer service, so I I know I know that can be pretty exhausting just dealing with people. Yeah, I haven't been able to catch a lot of uh, Ace's streams recently, because when she's live, I'm usually at work or streaming myself. Oh, a mechanic, like an auto mechanic, or uh, what? What kind of mechanic we uh, we talking here? I mean, hey, if you're an auto mechanic, I have, like, oh, okay, bowling alley, but you, oh, okay, I was gonna say, if you are an auto mechanic, like, I have so much respect for auto mechanics, because, like, the, 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 them guys have been, fic like, they, whenever I have an issue with my car, there's this one place I go to, it's, like, right around the corner from where I live, and they are some of the nicest people. And they have a dog. There we go. Jeez. I've been working on that quarter pipe for like... 10 minutes. These holes aren't just a more pain of just a jump on top of them as well. No, you know what's really funny is when you're like me, you stream like a few nights a week, and then you go to work, and one of your coworkers is like, so I watched you stream last night. Like, not as awkward as it may sound, honestly, but it's kind of because I got some really cool coworkers that I... That I'm pretty cool with. Uh, I need a, I need a swig of H2O here. Oh, there we go. Uh, it always feels nice going down. You're on the walls, I'm on the floor. Oh, well, lost our... Am I? Uh, 69. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, the percentage, yeah. yeah. Honestly, I have a really 
odd pattern when going side to side with the uh, power washer. I feel like I learned that from a from like a couple of like a game I used to play a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, if you've heard of Conquer Live and Reloaded, it was like the Con the Conquer's Bad Fur Day remake that was on Xbox. Um, in the multiplayer, you can, like, you can play the multiplayer levels single player, which is nice. And in the multiplayer, there's a class of soldier that uses a flamethrower. And my pattern for spring side to side with the, uh, power washer comes from my experience playing with that flamethrower class. That's pretty much how you gotta do it in that game. Because you want you, you want the enemy dead. You you want to burn them. You you, you you swing side to side like a mad banshee. Which is why I like that I have my sensitivity turned up here. I imagine it would be more insane if I was playing keyboard and mouse. No, like, I don't talk to Chibi very much, and I haven't seen her streams in, like, a hot minute, but I will absolutely promote her whenever I can, because, like, she's been a good friend. Because when I was, uh, when I was working up to my debut, she was always, like, super supportive. So I kind I kind of owe it to her a little bit. Yeah. Yep, all the walls are done. All the walls are done. Oh boy. Oh, have you seen any cartoon made by Klasky Chupo? It would be stuff like uh, Rugrats or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I recently, like, watched a video about, like, what happened to Klasky Chupo. I think it was like, I think it was just more or less that like, stuff like Spongebob was phasing them out for a while and their relevance just kind of faded out because they put all their stock into being a Nicktoons studio, even though I think they were like behind The Simpsons for a while. I used to watch a lot of Klasky Chupo cartoons when I was a kid. Stuff like Rugrats, The Wild Thornberries, As Told by Ginger, those were all, like, those were all cool when I was growing up. And we, all, we also have all grown up, the... Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yes, the, uh, version of Rugrats that nobody talks about. Yeah. Because it kind of weird. I don't know, I liked it. It was a big deal when it came out, because, like, it got 
The, the, the special that started it got such insane ratings. Look, the hype behind it was so insane. And it was like right on Rugrats' like 10th anniversary too, so... But it was it was definitely really good before stuff like uh, Fairly Odd Parents and SpongeBob rolled into the scene. Yeah. No. What about Hey Arnold? Was that one though? That that one was not Glasky Chupo, but it was an absolute classic. Okay. It was one of those uh, 90s cartoons. Oh, there's another one. Uh, Rocket Power. Oh yeah, that one was an that one was Glasky Chupo. Yeah. Glasky Chupo had a very distinctive art style. Just like uh, Butch Hartman had his uh, with Fairly Odd Parents. Oh yeah, with like Fairly Odd Parents and Danny Phantom, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, looking back at Danny Phantom, I didn't hate it. I thought it was pretty cool. I loved it. I loved that there was just like, a whole, like, episodes dedicated to the, gr like, not dedicated totally to the Green Bay Packers, but, like, the Green Bay Packers made, like, were part of, like, some jokes in an episode or two. Yeah. Like, how one of the characters wanted to buy out the, uh, the, the Green Bay Packers, but couldn't. Glad, yeah. Oh boy. I mean, there was also the cheese ghost. I'm not kidding about that. That was actually uh, another thing, another joke for the Green Bay's. No, you know what cartoon was absolutely in like amazing, but I don't hear anybody ever talk about. It was this fun little French made cartoon called Code Lyoko. I don't blame uh, uh, everyone for not uh, thinking about that, but it's also the fact that eh, some people uh, just don't have taste. For me, I think it's an awesome uh, I'm a show. It's just a uh, for its time, the 2D to 3D transition for the characters was really fun. No, you know something? The entire series is on YouTube. For free. I, 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 I learned about how, like, there was a playlist for it. So you can just binge the entire series on YouTube. Yeah. Thing is, like, I don't know how that made it onto, like, I think it originally aired on, like, Disney or Cartoon Network at the time. I believe it's Cartoon Network. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know how they got away with it. Because, like, in the very first episode, like, you see one of the characters, like, undressing. Like, it's, 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 it's nothing, like, too insane. Yeah. 
hey, that's it, it's better than uh, I'm a whatever uh, happened with uh, the lot of uh, I'm a Goblin Slayer or even a whole series of uh, some of those other. I kind of want to sit down and watch Goblin Slayer just just to know what that's about. Just to just kind of to understand it better. Because, like, Miser has talked about it. I have co-workers that are talking about it now. The only reason I know about it is because of, uh, uh, of Goblin Guy, uh, Goblin Killer Guy. There is, I mean, it's Goblin Slayer. Okay, hold and on, hold on. The area I'm standing in, alright? This is called yeah. the Fun Box. <laughs> yep. I don't know what's so fun about this box, but, you know, more power to you if you think it's a fun box. Skate park, uh, skate park, uh, stuff. Skaters, uh, know how to do a fuck. Uh, make it a fun box. I mean, this one's called Spine. Okay, Thank that kind of makes sense with the shape. This one's just a box. There's nothing fun about this box. People have, uh, well, skaters have fun with, uh, us people that are, they see, uh, normies. Yeah, and, well, uh, the skaters also drew love symbols on one of the walls, like, over here somewhere. Yeah, I saw. And I, like, sprayed it off. Because I'm like, yeah, you can love, just not here. There we go, fun box. Yeah, it's fine. I forgot, have you actually worked a, like, a power washer before? You forget it, but, uh... Oh, yeah, the, like, yeah, okay, yeah, I for Well, outside yeah. of that, I mean... Yes, uh, again, work, uh, I actually used a power washer for, for... I remember it was when I was growing up, I went to help someone in my family power wash a friend's house. That was like my only other experience with a power washer. I believe I had to use a power washer on my dad's semi before, but that's a, I'm a I can remember about the about uh, about uh, all I can remember about the park. My memory is fuzzy because of all everything that's going on, uh, been happening. Yeah. Okay, I'm on the corner ramp right now. Wait, we still have walls. Where the fuck are the walls? What walls haven't been done? I'm checking. I thought we got all the walls. I'm checking. I'm checking every single thing. Oh, fucking wall. It said walls, I'm like, what? Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, that's that. There we go, there. The wall's done. I know I've asked this a couple of times already, but how... How do they get a skate park this filthy? Well, uh, there, um, I think, uh, at, uh, the thing is about that one, I think there was, uh, some sort of, uh, volcano, some, uh, close by that we have, uh, to deal with, uh, Only, a, only in the Power Wash universe is anything ever this dirty. Yeah. Even uh, um, uh, Tifa's, uh, what do you call it? Tifa's, uh, bar was, uh, ju uh just as bad. Oh, you worse. get to clean Tifa's bar? Yeah. Does, she, coming, yeah. Do, does she serve us drinks afterward? I, I wish, to, I wish, to, but no. She just gives us the money. At that point, I'd blame Sephiroth for that. Yeah. We clean up the bar, we clean up, um, uh, three, uh, um, uh, of the... Final Fantasy Seven vehicles. I don't remember them uh, that well. Hell, we even clean a uh, uh, crowd sword in the bar. The Buster Sword. Yeah, we actually clean that. Oh my God, I have to. I have to one day clean that. Well, I mean, how is, often do you uh, get to clean the Buster Sword? Well, uh, I'm, uh, the, that one is the Midgar, uh, Midgar, now I realize that Midgar, uh, in the Final Fantasy, uh, one is free, uh, so you can, uh, get that. I'll have to see about downloading that. thing is clean. I'll just spray everywhere until it gets done. There might be a spot somewhere we might have missed. Oh, this isn't even part of that floor. Okay. There we go. I'm like looking for all these tiny little spots right now. <laughs> I'm telling the game to show me dirt, it's not showing me dirt. Game, where's the dirt? Oh, there we go. Ugh, oh, Jesus. Okay, this is skate park before. Oh my god.
beautiful. Ugh. Okay, is there anything I can buy at the current moment that might help things along? I know none, a lot of the other, uh, what are the other nozzles and stuff are for the Prime Vista or, like, the Vista Pro. You know, something I don't even have yet. Okay, I have the 40 stars, I just don't have the two grand. So I'll definitely be grinding that one out. Whenever I can. As for the pro duty. Oh boy. Alright, um, cleaning liquids. Oh, I don't even have cleaning liquids purchased. But they learn, they're like in stock, so do, do we really need them? For certain, um, uh, um, uh, things, uh, you do, uh, I mean, there are, uh, there are things that have rust, uh, um, uh, on it that, uh, you might, uh, need, uh, one of those cleaning liquids. I have that one. I'm trying to figure out how to put on the skin. That, I, I'm not trying to take a screenshot game. A skin for your... My gun. Okay, you... Um, press the... Um, uh... Hold that. The middle button, the... Oh, the you know, uh, pad thing? Pad. Oh, clothing. Yeah. Oh. Pad, uh... You see the black and red, uh... I'm, uh right next to, uh, the power wash? Oh, oh, wash. oh, oh, there we go. Oh. Yeah. Beautiful. See this? Beautiful. Yeah. I'm a fashionista. I just mm -hmm. got a trophy for it. Yeah. And needs to think this um uh was another uh um uh trophy you can do. Just get this thing out of uh, here and we'll literally uh, get it done. Get that fucking sucker ball out of here out of the um uh Ooh, almost. Ooh. Ugh. Come on. Oh, you bitch. You ass blasting sass. Oh, that killed all my momentum. Hold on. Like, I have the right idea.
I don't know if I have enough power to do that. Yeah, that's why I'm, uh, that's why I go for the, like, the next one, uh, or the professional. That way you can, uh, get, I mean, you don't have to clean the entire, uh, clean the entire, uh, place all over again. You just have to go in and just spray the fucking thing out and you get the trophy. Okay. Are we even spraying at the same ball right now? Nope. Just get that done uh, when you get the professional uh, I'm not the any professional uh, oh, washer. Oh, so close! Come on. I um, I got it. I got it into the air. Oh, you piece of shit! Come on. Yeah, I give up. I can't. Yeah, that's a. Uh, and you think that one's annoying? Try uh, I'm a uh, launching uh. The soccer ball through uh onto the, fucking uh, uh, right on top of the Stegosaurus slide. Looks like you wet your pants. Ha ha ha. Yeah, what boy? Yeah. Um, that depends. What do we got left? Um, there's motorbike and sidecar we could do real quick, I guess. Okay. That'll get me some good old monies. Ding 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 Just like scooching along the ground here.
But there's like something in here that like I keep tapping but like I never quite get There we go. Let's see us power through this one in 2x speed. <laughs> I'm blocking it. <laughs> you can't see the finished product. It's not loud. Yeah. Uh, what more? Uh, the shoe house. Uh, that one might be a longer one. Mm-hmm. And we're, we're over three hours on stream as it is. Um. I think, I, I think, I, I think I might call it, honestly. All right, then. Uh, hopefully you can figure out how to leave. I, I don't know. I don't want to, like, be rude and kick you. Oh, see, there we go. <laughs> yep. Turn co-op off. So, yeah, we have a whole... I'm off. We have a... Monus Jobs. Mars Rover, Gnome Fountain, Mini Golf Course, Steam Locomotive... Oh, that's not, uh, 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 the bonus jobs are different from, uh, the actual things. You have to go very back until you hit career. Uh, you see career and specials. You go into specials. I don't know if I have, is it, oh, okay, here we go, specials. Yeah. All right. Um, seasonal specials, Tomb Raider. Oh, I do have Midgar. Yeah. SpongeBob Square Pants. SpongeBob Square Pants. SpongeBob Square Pants and Back to the Future. But the that I think is for those two, they are so nine, is only nine, seven ninety nine a pop. For both of them. I mean, it's not bad. Uh, it's just, uh, I mean, it's not to pay, uh, 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 for those two. Definitely something to look at. Um. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm, I'm gonna mute you so I can end this and, uh, I don't know if you planned on sticking around or anything or if you wanted to head out. I'll just probably head out. All right, yeah, that do that would make it a little easier because then I don't have to mute unmute or anything. Yeah. Well, hey, it was fun. We we got to yeah. wash things. Yeah. All right then. I'll see you later, dude. Then. Ye. Ye. All right. Okay, that's all settled. Let's uh, let's see who we can raid. All right, it was more power wash uh, with the guys. Uh, no, no, there we go. There we go. That's where I like to go. Um. So uh, next Friday's stream will be a Splatoon stream because there is a Splatfest coming up. I I know those are like really popular here, you know. But um. Should be fun. Um. Oh, I rated this person. How, how long ago did I read this one? I am, I do not remember. <laughs> but it's Tears of the Kingdom, and I don't want to be spoiled to it. So, uh. Oh.
Yeah, this one might work, but I gotta... There we go. Okay. Um... We're gonna try, hopefully, to raid uh, someone called Pokey Pokems, who's playing Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Um, you know, so that's fun. So hopefully this will let me raid. Okay, raid's been created. Okay, cool. Well, that's getting ready. Thanks for hanging out. I really I can appreciate it. I will be back on Sunday with more uh, Breath of the Wild. We're, 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 we're working on the Journey of Enlightenment there. Um, then there's more Pokedex stuff with um, Legends Arceus on Monday. Next week will be Splatoon Splatfest, which, you know, again, we always have some fun with here. Um, so, um, until then, stay safe, and, um, I'll see you guys on Sunday.